big salute to all of my veterans out there. Big shout out to all of my subscribers, man. Like I tell you guys, I can't go one video without showing my appreciation. Question number four, I've been answering questions um, through my text app. And what I'm doing is, is creating, you know, videos for some of these questions out here because I do feel that if someone is asking a question, nine times out of 10, someone else will have the same question, you know, too. So I salute everyone, man, who take the time out to send me a text message, you know, that have questions or you guys who just want to show love. So if you do have any questions or just want to hit me up, 317-953-8943. That will come directly to me and I will personally reply back to you. So let's roll off into question number four. This is for you freight brokers out here too. What commodities, what loads could be brokered for dry van trailers? So like I told you guys, two or three videos ago, we talked about what is the three most common trailers that's going to be basically freight bro well, three most common trailers that most freight brokers will broker out loads for. And basically those three common trailers are going to be your refrigerated trailers, your dry van trailers, and also your flatbed trailers. Today we're talking about what loads could go on a dry van trailer. And if you guys pay attention to what loads could go on these trailers as being a freight broker, it could help you start your research on building your shippers list too. So we'll talk about dry food. Dry food could be anywhere from onions, tomatoes, food that goes in the cans, any type of food that's being manufactured that don't have to go into a refrigerated trailer, right? So like I told you guys in a previous video, if you guys are freight brokers and you're struggling right now on doing your research or what type of loads should you be brokering and out right now, Man, you guys could go into a store, into a grocery store right now, walk up and down the aisles and look on all of the packaging and basically get the manufacturer off of the packaging and you could start cold calling up some of these major manufacturers out here. And who knows, you guys might start brokering out loads for them too. Clothing, electronics, paint, chemicals building products. So think about this, clothing manufacturers out here. Of course, there's plenty of clothing manufacturers out here that need to get their clothes sent to basically their customer to electronics, paint, chemicals, building products. I'm telling you, there's going to be so many type of different electronic manufacturers out here. So many different type of paint manufacturers, chemical manufacturers. Man, you could go on Google right now. I'm telling you, try this out. Go on Google right now and type in clothing manufacturers in New York City. And that's going to at least give you a good start. Clothing manufacturers in California, electronic manufacturers in whatever state and city you want, paint, chemical, building products. And like I'm telling you, for you guys out here that are brand new freight brokers, this is just a good start for you. The previous video I talked about what could go on reefer trailers too. So if you guys missed that video, go back and watch that one. The next video, I'm going to be talking about flatbed trailers. What could go on these flatbed trailers out here? And as long as you guys pay attention, what at, if you guys are just riding down the street, right? So you're a freight broker, you're riding down the street, you're riding down the highway. Always look at what is on flatbed trailers. You can't see what's in the dry van or the reefer trailers, but always look to see what's being hauled on, on the flatbed trailers too, because that's going to start giving you an idea of 
who do you need to start researching too? You might see some generators on a flatbed trailer. So that's going to give you the idea. Okay, let me look up generator manufacturer. Dry bed trailers are going to be anywhere from 48 to 53 feet, just like reefer trailers, anywhere from 44,000 to 48,000 pounds max weight for the loads, too. So, man, real quick video for you guys out here. If you do have any questions, hit me on my text message, 317-953-8943. Go visit my website, w w dot extraordinary movement.com go get you 30 day free trial with dat low board go sign up with tabs trans and financial services if you guys are looking for a factoring service everything in the description link below video number five coming up next question number five will be answered and that's going to be what loads could go on a flatbed trailer coming up soon ceo Commit, execute, and be obsessed. Everybody be great out there.